Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'll show you how to um, how you can add some text to, uh, to a surface. You can do this in some different ways and I will show you these. Now first let's sketch out our um, our surface to add the text. Go to sketch and choose top plane. Then you can for example sketch a, a nice curvy looking spline like this. Then give it some thickness with the extruded bar space. This looks good to me. Now we have our surface to um, to add the text. Let's give it a color. If you go to appearances, you have all those different appearances to choose from. In the car selection we have a blue one called glass blue which I think suits this good. So right clicked and click add appearance to part like so. Then a sketch on the front plane, start a new sketch, like this. Now you can see in the sketch tool we have this text. So in the text field you just type for example tutorial or your name or what you would like to to say on the on the surface. You can see it adds the text down here. It's quite small and the font is pretty boring. So if you uncheck this you can click on font and uh, we can we can change the font and the size of the font. Now in points, let's call it 70. Looks quite good with the size and let's use a font called Forda. It's here. Okay. Now when you left click with your mouse, you can move it around the text like so. Say, let's make it a little bigger. Let's call it 90 instead of 70, like so. Click OK when you finish with this. Now, first, uh, I will show you how to uh, add text with the split line. You go to Insert, go to Curve, choose Split Line. In the type of split, make sure you have projection checked, and in the first selection, that the current sketch is is checked. And then down here, you choose your uh, your surface. Click OK. Now you can see it. It simply adds the text to the surface. There was one method of doing it. Let's delete this one. Now we can um, we can do it with uh, a feature called wrap. Also, you can find it in Insert Features Wrap. Then it adds it asks us to uh, to select a sketch. You go in the feature manager design tree and choose your your current sketch, like so. And if uh, we choose scribe in wrap parameters, we actually get the same results as as if we were doing a split line. So click the surface and click OK. we have the text on our surface like so if we want to make a text which is um, which go comes out from the surface or goes into the the surface or the solid we have to choose this wrap also so um, you can right click on the wrap feature click edit feature then you can choose emboss and you can choose a, th a thickness of of the text that you want to add. Let's say force is good and click OK. And now we have our text coming out from the surface like this. If you want to to have it to go inside, you just choose deboss like so. Click OK. we have the text going into the surface. Now another method of adding text to a surface is to use the extruded bar space. Let's choose extruded bar space from, from the features and choose the, the text sketch like this. <coughs> now in the end condition, start condition, sorry, you have to choose from surface like this. 
and then click on the surface. Now you can see it. It comes out from the surface as well. And let's give it a height of, for example, five millimeters. Click OK. And now you can see it comes up with an error that says the operation failed due to geometry condition. Now just uncheck the merge result and we should skip this. And click OK. And there we have it. Then you can see it haven't added the A, all of the A, so this is uh, not always a, a good method of doing this. So delete this one. Now I'll also show you how you can uh, add some new colors to, to the surface. Let's make um, a wrap feature again. Like so. Make sure to choose scribe. So we have our text. Now control click this one and this one and go to appearances and let's choose uh, white color right click on this and say add appearance to selections like so if you click up here it will auto show now control click this one and this one and let's choose this metallic gold control click this one this whoops this one and this one choose this glass red and this one and this one and choose a steel gray so now we have added some some text to to a surface you can use these methods on a, a solid as I have shown here and you can use it on uh, surfaces with a, a zero thickness as well and also how to, to change the, the colors of the text so that was all. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Bye.